If you're wondering if I'm inside the tub, Yes. Today I've arrived in the cultural capital of Vietnam, Hanoi. This is my third destination out of the five Asian countries on my backpacking journey. While I'm here, I want to do something different for you guys that are watching. I need to find a place to stay, so I booked two different properties showing just how far your money can go staying in the cheapest versus the most luxurious hotel in Hanoi. The first is for $6 near Beer Street, and the second is for $206, located in the central district of Hanoi. I'm full of different emotions for this stay, so join me and find out which was worth it. More turning here. Like you really could not find this place if you looked, it's just so deep in and uh, to the left and to the right, there's just homes, people staying here. This is literally a place where people live. You can see people live there, there and here. And this is where I'm staying at, the Banana Hostel Inn. Like I'm telling you, I would have not been able to find this place if I wasn't guided here through the maps and just asking around. But this is the actual place for it. And you can see we have an entrance. If you just tap, boom. Yes, sir. So obviously, first impression, there is a very cool AC full on blast. Right now, it's very humid outside. So this is a breath of fresh air for me. That's great. And one thing I want to note is most hotels that I've been in, they do this kind of no outdoor shoes type of thing. So everything has to be locked away before you walk in. So these are just all of the lockers for the shoes. I think mine is, oh, no, that's not mine. That's mine. <laughs> and to walk in here, we have to wear these and they're actually quite comfortable. I actually do like them. So I'm gonna switch to the, I am all good to go. These are actually really comfy. I really wanna invest in these. And then we'll close this here. Boom. And this is remedies, drinks, or not, piano. We're gonna make our way up. And cause I'm a little tall, I have to watch my head cause I hit myself twice already. See? I think, I think this is the third or fourth floor. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, I think I'm one more up. Okay, here we go. Yes, I am here. Okay, this is where I'm staying on this floor. I think it's the fourth, I'm not quite sure. Uh, but this is the room. This room is kind of like a 12 dormitory room. You have three in each uh, section. So one, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then you have like a restroom there and then two showers right there. Place to sit and a, you can't see it now, but this is kind of, it wasn't too bad during the day, but a nice viewpoint of Hanoi. Not much more to it. Everything comes with a locker that you don't have to, to pay for. It comes with the bed and a towel. Yes, I believe it came with a towel. I'm not quite sure. I lied. I had, you have to pay for a towel. Yeah, no deposit. I take that back. Originally, I was up here this morning and unfortunately, I fell and cut myself pretty bad. When I stayed there, originally up there, it was so hot. Obviously, heat rises. And for that reason, they have a fan. If you can see right over there, it works perfectly. When the fan turned on, the, that part became very cool. I had no problems and I was able to sleep a little bit. But because it's actually really tall, I don't recommend being at the third part of this place. For that reason, like people like me fall a little clumsy. The great thing about this place is the lockers. I really like this because these lockers come with your beds. And like I said, these lockers are like, if you're kind of like in the outer skirts of your bed, you kind of get the lockers right here. If you are kind of in the upper parts, sorry, my bad. We just go. <laughs> if you're in the upper parts, like up there, your locker's gonna be up there. Really convenient. And I'm gonna show you guys what the size and space looks like in these lockers. Right here. Yeah. 
perfect. I love the lighting here. It's great. So this is my locker. I'm number bed 29. And this is my locker right here. Boom. Do you see like the size of it? This is my backpack. There's just so much room in here. I, I think that's really great. And saves a lot of money, time, and headache for people like me that really carry a lot of equipment and travel. And, you know, I feel very secure here. This is also another plus that I'm seeing. It's really good. So you're probably wondering, Derek, that's all great. That's all good. It looks all cool. But what about the bed? Is it comfortable? Is it big? Let me show you. Oh, tall people problems. All right. Let's see if there's a light. Oh, perfect. And that's a light. Can it move? Yeah, a little bit. Not too much. Okay. So maybe you can see me, maybe you can't. Okay, so the bed is very clean. They clean it right before I got here because I switched beds, remember? Um, it's pretty pretty wide I would say it's not so much of a it's a little around the twin yeah I would say it's a twin but a little little wider um, I've been on more rock hard beds than this but this is a decent sized bed it's it's very comfortable I was able to sleep a little bit this morning so it's perfectly fine comes with one pillow and it is not too high it's not too low I can move my head around I can stretch whatever it's not bad, uh, no problems really laying down. So I really had nothing more to say. I didn't really see anything that stuck out. You know, like I expected like roaches, bug stains, you know, other stains, you know, like sleeping stains or things you would normally see for a $6 hotel or hostel stay. I really expected the worst out of this place, but so far it's, it's pretty clean, you know, like look, nothing they changed it right before me I saw them do it cleaned it thoroughly and just to give you an idea of like how wide this bed is like uh, this is me it's my feet you know I can literally spread my legs out you know I can lift boom and that's the very end you know I have a lot of room here a lot of room and I you know one charging port for my uh, GoPro, which is fully charged. You get a little reading lamp too. So it's not bad. You know? I mean, the ceiling could use some work. You know, there's like a damage here, but nothing life-threatening, you know, just one damaged part here. And uh, yeah. And now for the restrooms, as I mentioned before, you get a towel if you pay, I think like, uh, one thousand dong. I, I forget how much, but it, it's it's super cheap. Uh, let's look at the restroom. I actually did take a shower earlier too, and for the spacing that we do have here, it makes sense why the shower is very tight. So my lens won't really capture the exact angle, but if you were to go inside like this, this is literally I'm touching the wall and this is outside so so try to imagine yourself in this shower it's very tight it's probably the tightest shower I've ever been in but once you get in the water you got hot water cold water it, it, it flows very well uh, no problems here there's no like chunks of hairballs or unused toothpaste or used toothbrushes or anything anything of that restroom nightmares and like that. I don't get anything from here, but it, it is a very tight shower. And then the restroom here has a little bit more space. Also very clean at the same time. Very clean, very clean restroom. Very clean. I have no problems with this restroom. It's actually a lot bigger than the shower. Um, actually, no, I take that back. The shower is a little bit wider and bigger than this restroom, this restroom is more narrow, as you can see. And each floor has a restroom and two showers. So this is the top floor, guys. Uh, this is all I can show you. Unfortunately, it was too dark and there's no lighting out there. Um, sorry. 
But this is the cheapest accommodation that I can find in Hanoi for $6, guys. Uh, this is a $6 hotel accommodation hostel. And let me just say my expectations were really blown out the way because, I'm going to be honest, I expected the worst out of $6. You know, when we talk about cheapest, there's a saying amongst the world that everybody understands, you give what you pay for right so this is the end of the first part of this video where i show you the cheapest hotel in hanoi and now i'm going to show you a more luxury side 200 dollars on top of the six dollars i'm going to show you that in a very luxurious five-star hotel that i think you guys will, will like a lot all right guys so if you have any questions let me know in the comments below we're going to go switch over to the next hotel accommodation all right guys all right guys for this part of the video we are now going to experience the luxury side of having a hotel in hanoi vietnam right behind me is the dolce windham golden golden lake hotel this is a 24 karat hotel made of pure gold so i'm going to see how much of this place is actually made out of real gold if not who knows? We're going to find out together, right? With that being said, guys, let's go check it out. I cannot wait to see this area and show you guys this 24 karat hotel. Let's go. So right off the bat, I'm already seeing that this door behind me is made of complete gold. And even the second one right here is made out of complete gold. I've never seen anything like that before in any of my trips around the world. I am inside right now. This is amazing like look at this right here this is i don't know what this is it looks like there's collection but it's pure gold i'm not gonna touch it but that's what it looks like right there let's uh look a little further yo i cannot believe i'm gonna be here for just one night this is a uh, pretty on the expensive side i believe it is over around 200 dollars per night but when I found this place, it was about $100. That was three years ago. Obviously, it's going to go up in price. Um, but it's okay. One thing that caught my eye over here is there is a golden steak, which is... I can't believe I'm saying it. There's a golden steak here. If I want to eat this golden steak here, I always let them know. So I'm going to actually find out how much that costs. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi. I just have some questions about your golden steak. What I want to know now is this looks really good. Yeah. How much is this this thing right here? How much is that? You just wanted to minimize the six million. Six, six million. million. Yeah, for four people. Normally it's uh, one one million and fifty for one. Alright guys, I'm at my room here at 902. 90210. Wow. So just when like I thought I was having a bad day, they actually gave me an upgrade. This went from a king suite to an executive suite with a balcony room. Thank you, Vietnam, for making my day that much better. This is gonna be great. I cannot wait to show you guys. So first things first, that is a gold tub. Yes, let's check this out. Wow. It's so shiny i've never seen a 24 karat gold tub and not only is that gold did that just did that just open by itself man this this is crazy this sink is nuts this is also good literally the niche of this hotel is that everything here is gold literally from the walls to the interior to the tub to the sink everything here is gold even the bidet Ooh, golden shower look at that wow golden shower dude i gotta say this is pretty cool this is pretty rad um Man, I don't know what to say. This is the most, this is also a five star, by the way. This is not like a cheap thing. This is the most expensive five star I've ever been in. And uh, I'm here. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Okay, got your robes, lock, slippers, same stuff, different day. 
What I like most about this room is how wide it is. I have an amazing view to this balcony. My bed, I think it's a, uh, I think it's a king. It feels like a king, I'm not too sure. I'm not sure what I had prior, but this is actually really big. I love this. There's a tub, which is a perfect view. And then there's this giant mirror outlined with a golden ring to it. This is actually really sexy. So this is something I've never seen before. Wow, like this, this restroom is, is huge right next to the bed itself. It's very comfy, six pillows. Dial zero if you need any help. This is cool. I've got my work desk right here, my laptop, my stabilizer, uh, flat screen TV, and the, the, the bar or something like that. Yeah. Uh, and I believe this controls this right here. So let's try it out. I want to open it. Oh, that, that one. Yeah, there we go. Woo! Yes, sir. Oh my God, it's humid. Whew. Let's, uh, let's close this. Ooh, it's humid, but it's beautiful, guys. Wow. This is amazing. This is Hanoi, Vietnam. This is crazy. It's beautiful, man. This is really beautiful. This is a beautiful view. Moving on to my favorite spot in the entire property would have to be the rooftop. I wanted to capture more aerial view, but it was prohibited due to the aerial flying space. The rooftop was perfect and was a vibe all on its own. It's open from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. at night, and the rooftop is on the last floor of the building. Once you walk through the elevator, you'll be greeted with a rep, and he'll give you a towel and tell you to take off your shoes in exchange for the slippers and sandals that they have on stand. The view from the infinity pool in the morning is equally fantastic at night, but gives a different experience. By the time I was done enjoying my swim, I finished washing at the golden showers, which was a cool touch of the property. All right, guys, it is now nighttime, and there's a few things that I did not cover when I first got in here. So I just want to talk to you about that real quick, showing you the, the, the tiny details that you guys missed in this room all right this this may be for you guys check this out so what's so sexy about this room it's not the tissue the water that i took but if you had like champagne you can use this with your golden tub here which is what i will do tonight i don't normally pop bottles but today tonight's an exception also my boy brian told me he's the type of guy that loves these type of utensils whenever he goes to hotels. Uh, here they have shampoo. It's really good, I use it already. And this golden room that I'm in also comes with some really smelly looking lotion. And you've got your traditional soap bar, but this is what they really like. This is sewing kit, cotton pads, shaving kit, cotton buds for like Q-tips, comb, toothbrush, shoe mitt, sanitary bag, nail file, loofah. All that comes in here, guys. So let's talk about actual value. And if you're wondering if I'm inside the tub, yes. Okay, so is this place worth 200? dollars for a night in a gold tub gold shower gold rooftop everything sure there's a lot of value in this i have no complaints here it's actually really nice i like the touch the aesthetic i, I love what the the idea of it all you know i don't really have any issues because this ain't about issues we're actually comparing this luxury apartment to the previous cheap hotel that i had right there and there's huge difference but what i would say that is the commonality between the two is the service they, they both have really great service fortunately my room didn't come with breakfast i had to pay extra for that which is totally fine but the other room it was 
it was straight. You know, I, even for as cheap as, as it was, I had no issues there too. Nothing that really struck my mind. But here, yeah, I gotta get used to that. All right, it's the next morning. <coughs> Good morning, everyone. It is the next morning. My time is coming to an end in this room. I want to just talk about some last minute things before we close it out. Yeah, so I was trying to talk outside and I just couldn't talk at all because of uh, the, the humidity was covering up my lens. <clears throat> it's okay. Uh, but yeah, uh, just a real quick pros and cons about this place in comparison to the other. Uh, a big pro is that everything is gold here and I love the aesthetic. It's awesome, it's amazing, service is great. Um, not having breakfast is part of, is not part of my room because you have to pay for it when you do it online. Uh, <clears throat> a huge con for me is you're not able to use drones. Even if they allow you, this area is a restricted area. So having a drone here just won't work. Maybe if you kind of like walk a little couple miles away, it might work, but just from my balcony, I cannot fly my drone and give you that aerial perspective of what this place is. That being said, I had nothing else to talk about. I had a great time here. This is actually pretty cool for a cheap to luxury experience in Vietnam. I highly recommend for anybody else that wants to try it um, just once. I'm getting ready to head out right now. If you enjoyed this video, if you've gotten this far, thank you so much for watching, supporting my videos. I have two more countries left in this backpacking tour in Asia. Guys, if you like, if you found this video of any value, please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, my name is Derek. I'm going to get ready to head out of here right now and start my day. Thank you so much. This was like a cool experience. This is the first time I've ever been in a five-star, and uh, I would love to do this again in the future. All right? So with that being said, guys, thank you so much. I'll head out, and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Take it easy.